Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. The last episode we assembled our crankshaft and this time we're going to take that crankshaft and drop it into the crankcase and assemble our short block. But before we do, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of my new patrons, Kenneth and William. It's great to have you guys on board. I really appreciate your support. All right, well, let's get to assembling the short block of our Wallaby 30cc twin cylinder four stroke engine. So, our first assembly operation will be to secure the block to the crankcase and the installation of our cylinder sleeves. We'll be using these 632 screws here. So go in here like so. Cylinder sleeves line everything up. We'll be using some Loctite. We'll be cleaning everything with um, acetone here first. I'll get back with you after I assemble this. Here I'm fly cutting the top of the cylinder block. This will give me a nice flat surface to seal the cylinder head against. So my original plan was to take off about 10 thousandths. I ended up needing to take a little bit more off to get everything perfectly flat. When I machined my block, I broke a tap off in one of the head stud holes. So here I'm showing where I have used JB Weld to install an aluminum plug into an enlarged hole. Now that I've fly cut, I can re-drill and tap this head stud hole. So now our cylinder block is an integral part of our crankcase. It's time to go back and look at our parts kit and see what we can assemble next. So I've got my camshaft, rear bearing holder, and I've got my gasket installed there. I'm going to install this before the flywheel. The flywheel hides this screw here. So we'll install this rear bearing holder first. Okay. So we can okay, so I put a few screws in here to hold the rear main and a couple of screws here to hold the front bearing in place. Nice and tight. This is our crankshaft pinion gear. We use a 16th inch hardened steel dowel to align it with the keyway in the crankshaft. The water pump pulley also has a keyway which locks it to the same steel dowel pin. And finally, we install our starter dog. Okay, so now we've got our pistons, con rods. Viton ring goes on the 
top of these here. Got these all labeled. Wrist pin. Push the piston down. And then there's that, the first piston. Okay, and then there's the second, the second piston installed. A little tight. okay at this stage. Everything's smooth, but it's a little tight. We can put our new crankcase sump gaskets in place. Install our sump. We haven't covered making the gears for the Wallaby 30cc engine yet. I made some practice gears out of aluminum. These will be replaced later on when we make our actual gears. We'll be using steel for the crankshaft pinion gear and brass for all of the others. Let's install the oil pump. Looks like our oil gears are working. Install the block cover, which will enclose our water jacket around our cylinder sleeves. And just for the fun of it, we're going to set the cylinder head and cylinder head cover on the top of our engine. Finally, we will install our lifters, or our tappets and our tappet guides. Well, there it is! Our short block completed! We're really making good progress with our Wallaby 30cc engine. Next time, we'll start working on the head assembly. So, until then, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Take care.